Alrighty, so getting right into this, as you can see on the screen, uh, game ends, and first thing they do is accuse me of complaining about their perks, and then say, while well, you're proxy camping, which I don't believe I was actually proxy camping, I also wasn't complaining about their perks, I saw they had a four stack of adrenaline, and I was like, god damn, right? Because when you see four adrenalines, you're like, oh, this was a swift. And it was. Um, then they call me a basic trapper and accuse me again uh, of proxying. So I call them a basic bitch. I say, I'm a basic, hi, basic, I'm a basic trapper. You're a basic bitch. Hi, basic bitch. Uh, then I don't recall insulting anyone, but you're, you're coming into my chat to complain. And um, yeah, then we have uh, the friend here saying, I mean, play how you want to, but forcing hook trades, which I wasn't, again, I wasn't trying to force hook trades. I'm working on an achievement, the trapper achievement, to pull 100 people out of traps. And if you've ever tried doing the achievement, it's insanely difficult to get people to step in traps in the first place, right? It's very difficult, let alone have them step in a trap and be close enough by, nearby, in order to pull them out of the trap. Because you can't just M1 them. And then you have to literally pull them out of the trap. So. Accuses me of forcing hook trades. It's not also wasn't what I was trying to do. Then they're going to. Now they're on, now they're going to fucking get, take the high road. You're going to call someone a bitch. But like. Yeah. I mean you're, you're coming into my chat to complain. You're literally in my chat bitching. Like. Uh, uh, yeah. If, if the shoe fits. Wear it. Right. Um. Even if someone is complaining, that's completely disrespectful. I think what's really disrespectful here is coming into my chat to talk shit after the game. If you, this, if I can drop just a, a, a little bit of wisdom. How, if you see someone with TTV in their name and you don't like the way they played, it is not an invitation to come and air your grievances. It's there to promote a community, to bring new people in. Meaning people who are going to stick around, people who want to watch, grow, fucking have laughs, share sharing moments with you. It's not there to invite negativity. That that's not why TTV's there. I don't need I don't need it. I don't care for it. If you come in with the sole purpose of talking shit, getting upset, airing that shit out, it, it's very strange behavior that it's normalized on Twitch. You have TTV in your name. I'm going to come in. I'm going to let you know that I didn't like you. I don't like you. I don't like the way you play. All this other stuff. You don't do that to strangers. You don't walk up to strangers in real life and start airing out your, your dirty laundry for the day. So stop making it a thing on Twitch. No one no one really cares. If you, if you didn't enjoy the way that the person played the game, you didn't buy the game for me. So, like, I'm going to play the game the way I want. You can be upset, but, like, seriously... It, it, it has to, something has to give because this is like every day, literally. And then we get the, the big, the big one, the big, the big bombshell of shit talking. Three man swift, you arrogant shit stick. We call to just leave it and focus on Jen. So you make the call to leave that person in basement and focus on Jen's. And now you're upset that the person died on their first hook. I, I don't, I don't understand. Like, can someone make that make sense? You I made like the call. Candy. To like leave it and focus on Jen. So like you you made the call to Jen rush me, and then you're upset that like I all the time is like proxied basement, but like you guys candy. kept bringing me back to I basement as you'll see in the video, like um, which is weird. And then even it, and then to say even if someone is complaining, that's completely disrespectful. I don't I don't I don't know how that's my problem. You came to my chat to talk to me. I didn't come to you. So if you feel disrespected. Oh yeah, I bet. Maybe you shouldn't came to my chat um, to complain to me. I used to work at you know? a, a car. Um, and then uh, I'm not even yeah, trying to complain. I may disagree, but I still disagree with yeah, it's, it's not, you're it's disrespectful of calling someone a bitch. I mean, don't come into my chat and bitch if you don't want me to call I you a bitch. Um, that's uncalled for and very disrespectful. Once again, I don't care. Um, and then we get Kate wasn't with us. Who uh, who is going in for unhooks and basement? Wow, have a good day. Like yeah, I mean it's all. But yeah, anyway, so let's get into this game, right? Um, fucking, I, I put down some traps early. I see David. I give David a good whack. Um, I follow David into main because we're still in early game. I'm not too worried until a gen or two is popped about actually holding my three gen so that we can make the game last a little bit longer. I'm going to put a trap here to shut down main so that they can't use it as much. 
Um, not that that ever really comes to being a thing because I'm not going to chase them in that direction in the first place. But if I have to, I didn't want to. I don't want to. So hit Yui. Yui sticks this gin in my face. That was that. Was I mean, that was it, like Yui? the first. Was it worth it? The first thing, like why, why are you sticking a gin in my face? You could have just run away. Worth making me angry. Come back and someone else could have tapped it. Like I was gonna chase you, but so Yui gets their first hook. And once again, I'm not. I'm not camping. I'm not really camping. You can call it proxy camping, but like. What is proxy camping? What is the proximity that a killer has to remain inside of for it to be considered proxy camping? Because I'm moving all over the place. Meg steps in this trap. I pick Meg, and this is great for me because this is like the first game in seven games where someone has actually stepped in a trap, and I've been able to actually pull them out of it before they've gotten themselves out. So that was huge for me. I was really, really excited. In my humble, my very humble opinion. So... Put Meg in basement, and then I already have a trap at the window. I put a trap at the pallet because my thought is if I can get someone to come in and I'll let them go in and actually unhook, then I can maybe force that person to step in one of the other traps and pull them out because my only goal here, I don't really care about winning. I don't care about fucking kills. I don't care about hooks. Only thing I care about is getting this achievement done. Um, so I hit Kate, and I see David going. I'm like, yes, this is going to work. David's going to go into basement. And I come over here, I step in this trap, you know, buy a little bit of time, think, so Why he hears me, but he doesn't even go in basement. He walks straight past basement, he goes and does his glyph by, behind the hill. He doesn't even come down here. I come down here, like, where, where is he? He's not here. He decided to do his, his glyph over unhooking his friend who is in the basement. And then I'm going to come up here, I'm going to see David, I'm going to give him a smack, and he's going to run straight off. Straight off in the direction that I'm not going. I'm not going over there. I don't care about that gen. I have no traps over there. I'm not going over there, right? I hope that makes sense to everyone. Because a trapper is a defensive killer. It's like hag. I'm not chasing you. So I hit Yui. And Yui runs again off into a direction where I don't have any traps. So I'm not going over there. Right? Come over here. Who is this? Kate? Kate hits me with the meanest window fake I've seen in, in days. That was hard. Like... That person, Kate, you're you're watching JRM, you're watching Skirms. I tip my hat to you. It was a solid play, but here's a trap, and this is what I need. This is why I wasn't leaving the area. I needed them to go into my traps for my achievement. This this 3K was just like uh, a nice little ups ups uh, fucking what is it? Icing on the cake. So icing it was icing on the cake. The cake being getting them to step in the trap. So put Kate on the hook. I'm coming over here. Uh, just to hear, know. to see if anyone was working on the gen. Someone in chat asked me about how many more I, find it very hard um, I need for the like achievement. That. I'm responding. I'm walking over like here, resetting this trap. Just because like, you know, I have time. I'm super bored and and I know just, like, still I don't care about that gen in the back. And I didn't care about that gen that popped. I care about the gen that's at Shack right now. I care about the gen that's in front of the hill. And I care about the gen over there back in that corner. Those are the three gens I actually care about. And I know no one's over at that other gen. Um, based off of where I know other people are. I know Meg's dead. I know Kate's on that hook. I know David was right there. And I know Yui just popped that gym. Or I think that's the way it went down, at least. I don't know, but I think. And that's enough for me. David goes in for the unhook. I, I hit Kate, and I don't tunnel Kate. You know, I go after David. This should be this should be GG's. I had fun. Thanks for not playing super sweaty, because I really didn't. I was very relaxed during this game. I, got I put David on this hook. I got Kate. I got David. It was that three. I reset my trap. Even though I have the add-on, I feel like 30 seconds is a lot of time. So I just reset them anyways. Kate disarms that trap rather than going and trying to meet up with Yui to heal. Like, I don't know. It was, it was very strange. Yui was still in the back of the map, though. So, Kate steps in another trap. I, I pull Kate out. I put Kate on the hook. And now, you're going to hear me say, like I, like I'm leaving the area. Yui coming for the unhook. Because I don't want this game to end. These guys are actually stepping in my traps. And like I said, it's been like... I've been streaming for seven hours at this point. I have lost every single game tonight. Lost. Not even a single kill, really. Like, just getting destroyed. And people also aren't stepping in traps 
like they, it, it was like really like an abysmal night. Like it was awful for me. Um, I, I didn't want this game to end because I was making progress in this game. And Yui, they both kill themselves on hook. Yui doesn't come in for the unhook. Game ends. They come in. You're complaining. You're, you're proxied. You're a basic trapper. Um, tells me to... Calls me an arrogant shit stick and tells me to quit sniffing my own gas. Like, touch grass, guys. The, the, killer, the killer doesn't have to give a rat's ass... Just like survivors don't have to give a rat's ass. No one no one is, is responsible for the other side's fun. Anyways, that's it for me. Take care. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. See you next time.